I'd like to call someone else up who's dealing with a very fundamental problem, and that is Blaine of GlowDX, one of our Irish teams. So, Blaine, if you can make it up. Medicine is blind without diagnostics. Dengue fever is a hemorrhagic fever. It begins with cold and flu-like symptoms, but later develops into a much more fatal condition with internal bleeding and organ failure. It affects 390 million people every year. People like this little girl and her dad. They felt the full wrath of dengue, but survived due to chance a normally insignificant choice was made. What would you choose for a simple flu or headache? The blue pill, paracetamol, or the red pill, aspirin? Both of which you can buy in your local store for three to four dollars. But during a dengue infection, you will pay for aspirin with your life. Aspirin is a known blood thinner. Taking this during a hemorrhagic fever will kill you. You will bleed out in hours. Yet, with a diagnosis, you'll be able to make the right decisions and get the correct treatment. But in developing countries, accessible diagnostics are not available. Clinics just like this one do not have the equipment nor the personnel to carry out the required molecular tests. People are often sent home misdiagnosed, left to deal with the complications themselves. I found this out firsthand during my trip to Honduras last week. I woke in indescribable pain, followed by nausea, a raging fever, and a pounding headache. Thinking I had food poisoning, I went to my local clinic, here in El Sitio. After four hours of waiting, I was finally seen by a nurse. She took my vitals and sent me to the doctor. The doctor told me I had chikungunya, a viral disease, and I was to go home, get some rest, some painkillers and some fluids, and come back the next morning for a blood count. This is what I did. I went home. I went home misdiagnosed. The next morning, I came in. They took a blood sample and did a blood count on this. And from this, I found two things. The first was that no matter where in the world, I still really hate needles. <laughs> <laughs> the second was that my platelet counts had dropped through the floor. The doctors re-evaluated their diagnosis and told me that I'd suggested dengue. Suggested because they had no means of diagnosis. For me and millions of other people, this is a reality. And this is why we made it our mission to deliver accessible diagnostics. But to develop the most accessible diagnostic platform, we first had to reach out to labs to learn exactly the dynamics of the problem and tailor a solution. My trip to Honduras was consolidating the relationships we had already made, visiting hospitals and clinics, meeting with public directors of, of hospitals, and also we managed to secure the valuable biological samples necessary to validate our product. We managed to obtain collaborators, which are willing to actually validate our product for us, and also demoed, demoed in private clinics, um, prospective clients, and other public hospitals. One of the most shocking things we found was the average cost of a test was $113. And with the average Honduran earning, only earning $80 a week, this put this test far from their reach. Our test cost $3.
$3. And just like conventional tests, it starts with a single blood sample. But conventional tests are expensive. They require a lab setup with tens of thousands of euros of equipment. Expert staff that can not only carry out the tests, but also interpret the results. And even when you get the results, you could be waiting up to six hours for these. And during a dengue infection, time is of the essence. Our test requires only your blood, our kit, and two minutes of sample preparation. Within 30 minutes, you'll have the answer you so very need. Our test can be done anywhere, and the results interpretation is easy. If you looked inside our tube, you'd see two things, a molecular copier and a DNA computer. The copier copies. It amplifies the viral target up to a detectable level. This allows our DNA computer to analyze these copies and then gives a signal when the, if the viral target is, is um, present. Again, the result interpretation is easy. A glowing tube for a positive result and nothing for a negative. Giving us a solution that's rapid, cost effective and user friendly. Ensuring that people all over the world get the diagnostics they need. This little girl's name is Yancy Flores, our co-founder. She's got a background in virology research lab management, and diagnostic development in developing countries. In the middle, we have Ashling Finn. She's a background in biomedical science and molecular biology. And I have a background in biotechnology, process development, and quality management. Ensuring our success, our advisors, all of which have decades of experience in finance, business, virology, and diagnostic development. The dengue market in Honduras is worth $1.3 million. And a Central American market is worth almost four times this. With the South American market, worth $33 million. And the Asian market worth a staggering $3.9 billion. From this, we predict revenues of $162,000 dollars next year. And as we take the public market in 2017, revenues of 1.1 million. Following this, as we expand into Central America and South America, revenues of 4.4 million. But to do this, we are raising $706,743 for lab and field evaluation, pilot plant production, validation, production, and R&D in order to expand our portfolio of tests. This will bring us right up to January 2017. Here we plan to launch three more products, chikungunya test, a lesiomoniasis test, and a HIV test. So far, we've, so far we've got seed capital through the Indie Bio program. And we've also been awarded an innovation voucher through Enterprise Ireland which grants us access to the expertise Irish institutions have to offer. We've also been accepted into the Ignite program here in Cork in UCC, which guarantees us expert business mentorship. Providing accessible diagnostics that tackle both the disease, diseases that affect both the people and the economies they live in will make a brighter future for everyone. It may even glow. We've been Glow Diagnostics. Please get in touch. <laughs>